first, let me do a very quick introduction on the Prosec GP8100. From the shared screen, you can see there are the hardware unit and its accessories. All right, it comes with the original battery pack. I believe you have ordered the extension rod as well. And in the package, there is our marker paper. Of course, you should have the marking chalk. In fact, I want to bring your awareness that the GP8100 can also be powered up by a power bank. So basically, you can see the equipment is now powered up and connecting with this power bank. The button is also on. The blue color lights, there's a Type-C connector over here at the bottom. If you connect your Type-C connector to a power bank, Prosec GP8100 can also be powered up. This makes it very handy and useful when you're at sites, and then the battery starts to fail or the battery runs out. So I just wanted to show you how we can be connected to a power bank. So now I will turn it off and use the original battery pack. Let's talk about the power pack over here. Inside this power pack, there are eight pieces of rechargeable double a size batteries. If your battery runs out, you can easily go to a supermarket and buy the replacement and continue to work site where you just basically take out the screw and then replace the batteries. From this power pack, you can also see the battery level by pressing this button. So over here there'll be an indicator. Open the lid, this will be the charging port. You can use the charging adapter from the package to perform the charging. When you are charging that, it will be a green blinking light showing. Once it stopped blinking, means the power pack is full. So let's plug this into the Prosec GP8100. Now done, press the power button. The instrument will be turned on. While the GP8100 is powering up, I also want to share with you how to fix the extension rod. The external extension rod can be very easily connected to your GPR device. No external tools are requested. So now I will share my iPad screen. You can see from your Zoom meeting.